Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how I make my own recycled paper. Now this is a bit of a departure from what I usually show you which is my work in the workshop as a jeweller but I thought I would show you the behind the scenes of other aspects of actually what I do in my own practice and this I have to say is going to be a bit of an experiment for me so it's the first time that I'll be making my own recycled paper uh, so we're just going to have to roll with it and see what happens. Hopefully I've got all the ingredients right and the process right. So let's go in it together. So one of the reasons why I'm showing you how I'm going to make my own recycled paper and one of the reasons why I'm doing it is because sustainability is very important to me. I actually have a very sustainable workshop and everything that I do in my workshop is as sustainable as I possibly can make it at this stage. There's still a long road ahead, but one of the things that I have been thinking about is how to make other areas of my practice more sustainable. So I've been thinking more about my packaging, more about my um, papers that I use when I actually invoice or when I uh, want to even write a nice note to accompany the pieces of jewellery that I send. And another part is also my posterity uh, documentation, which if you don't know what that is, you might want to check it out on my website at lornaromanengi.com. Uh, and you'll find out more about that. But that's one of the things that I'm looking into to make my own posterity booklets uh, from scratch and actually making the paper myself. So one of the things that I want to do with that is not only reuse papers that would otherwise just go in the bin, but I actually want to include um, some nature in them as well. So I will be using some petals from my garden that are all the colour schemes that I feel really resonate with my brand as well. So it's all going to be pinks and purples and I'm just going to experiment with it and see what happens. So the paper I will be using for this recycling project was actually kindly donated by my mother and is actually the music score from Sanderton which she worked on and it's, uh, it's basically a, a TV adaptation of Jane Austen's final novel and it was done by ITV and is now being shown on PBS in America I believe and Personally, I'm a big Austin fan, so I absolutely loved it. I was so jealous that she was involved in this project. But, uh, but also, if you're a fan of music or Austin anyway, I would check out the, even just the music because it was absolutely phenomenal. So I will link somewhere here in the video so that you can go and have a look if you fancy. I Personally, I just believe it's absolutely wonderful music. But anyway, so my recycled paper is going to be musical and floral with a hint of Austin in there. So I am very happy to be trying this. So my first step is going to be shredding all this paper, which I know it seems like a shame when it looks so nice and pretty, but I'm going to be shredding it using my father's paper shredder. So it might jam, this might take a while to do, but then I will be mixing it in a food processor with water, adding the flowers and then actually making the paper. So fingers crossed this works and let's get started. So because this shredder is absolutely rubbish and I'm fighting with it so much, I think I will be doing the rest by hand. I've got it all cut up and I think for now this is enough for a first attempt to see if this recycling recipe works. I don't want to do too much and then suddenly I've got a big failure on my hands. So I think this is enough for now. And now I am going to mince it up a little bit more and then bring over the uh, mixing machine and get it all mixed up with water until it's really mushy. So I'm just going to be putting some bits in here. I don't want to do too much and then maybe overclog it, but I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. And let's see. That's probably enough for a first whiz. And then I'm going to take it over here. Fill it 
Kurze. So after that little mishap, I am still soaking wet, uh, but I think I have now solved the issue. I'm not turning it on at the mains until I'm ready to start. So let's try this again. So, so this is the consistency that I saw on the video. So it's kind of a bit mushy and icky and stuff. <laughs> So I think that is the correct consistency. So I can now move on to the next stage. And for this next stage, um, I will be using my mount and decal pre-prepared. I'm going to be putting this in a big basin of water and then using the mountain decal and fingers crossed this works. So I'm just pouring this into the water. Yuck. That did not look very pleasant. So this is what they told me to do. So now I've got my mountain decal. I need to hold still. Ah, <laughs> slight problem. Have we got a bigger basin? Right, take two, hopefully with the right size this time. And do this. Need to keep a tight grip of this. Going under. And we can see where it's all laying out. And then while it's here, I can sprinkle, I'm going to try this in a few ways, I can sprinkle a few petals on it. So as you can see, the first attempts of making petal paper, not overly successful, but I've got some ideas of what worked, what didn't work. And I've got a few more ideas of how to actually maybe make it more successful. So as with everything, the first time you try it, it's not really particularly successful, but you live and learn and I am not going to be discouraged because I am determined I'm going to make my own petal paper with musical scores. So yes, this was quite a catastrophe, but you know what? The first time you try anything, it's going to be a catastrophe about 99% of the time. So even though this is a catastrophe and it's not really worked out, even though when it dries, I might have some usable bits. 
I've still learnt a lot from this process and it's stuff that I can work on and I'm determined to actually make my own petal paper with this and continue doing it until I get the proper recipe and the proper way of doing it and kind of get more in tune with actually doing it properly. So once I actually manage to do that, if that ever actually happens, I really hope it does, but once I manage to do it I'll be sharing with you pictures of what I'm doing and maybe more videos of me doing it actually properly and knowing what I'm doing rather than just messing about and doing an absolute mess in the meantime. So if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click the notification button to be alerted to any new videos coming out. If you have any comments then please just leave them in the comments box down below or if you'd like to get in contact with me directly and even if you have any advice on the kind of thing that I'm trying to do now I would be more than happy to hear from you just write to me directly on my social media at Lorna Design or through my website at lornaromanengi.com I am always more than happy to hear from you So this was my first attempt Onwards and upwards, I'm going to carry on experimenting and fingers crossed I hit on something successful. So, see you again soon!